Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to FS Daily News, the number one place to get all your FS news in one video for the day. In today's news, we get teased on custom modding's Case IH 2150 planters. We also get a tease on what Creator Mesh is working on. Now in new mods, we actually have a lot to go over. We have a dumpers pack to make any silage job go by a lot faster. Speaking of silage, we also got some stave silos on all platforms in a mod called the Fermenting Silo Pack. Before we get into the news and new mods, make sure to smash that like button. If you do like this video, let's try to get more than 250 likes. I've talked enough. Let's roll that intro. Let's go. We're taking our shot. What you got? We're going all the way to the top. Welcome back. Okay, so the first piece of news to go over for today is a mod that will be only coming out to PC only. The same creator that made the guidance steering mod is now bringing out another mod. This is proceeding with creative mesh. Looks good. I never really got into proceeding in FS19, but this makes me actually want to actually get into it. And the next news to talk about, well, this is pretty much a guessing game right here. Creative Mesh has posted this. They said, are you ready for the next guessing game? What machine can you see on this picture? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I have no clue, but we know it is blue. After that, Universe Simu Modding has released a new video on actually the new pack that will be coming very soon. This is the pack bar, bar I believe that's how you say that right there. It's a couple of auger wagons. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. This will be coming out to all platforms. Now on to the next piece of news for today, and this is from North Modding Company. The mall will soon be submitted to Giants for testing. Here is a few screenshots of it actually working. Much of the news today is not really being given a lot of info. Most of it is just screenshots, but one modder that did post a lot of information about his next new mod is from Custom Modding. And that is on his Case IH 2150 Early Rise Planters 30, 40, and 60 that will be coming out to all platforms. They said this about it. Yes, our 2150 planter is a little missing from the dev blogs, but here we are for the first time in FS22. It is one of custom modding's most complex projects because here we are bringing the complete 2150 series, definitely with all available size, plus plenty of options just like in real life. So speaking of options, 600 gallon tank, 400 gallon tank, double tanks in the wings, mixer, tracks, row options, two point drawbar hitch. Now let's talk about the progress on this mod. Modeling is done, UV mapping is done, Texture's done, Udom's done, Giants Editor's done, XML's done. Now they are just waiting for the Mod Hub re release, which you guys know is probably going to be taking a while, at least a month. So, at least it has already been submitted, so hopefully we get to see this very soon. So that is it of all the news for today. Let's head on over and take a look at the new mods we got for today. Welcome to the new mod part of the video. I actually got a, quite a few new mods to go over today. We got 22 new mods and updates to go over. On all platforms, we have 15 new mods to go over, including a new map. Updates for all platforms, we just got two. Now for PC only, we got three new mods and two new updates. Let's get to the all platform mods. Welcome to the all platform new mods for today. The first one, actually the first two is some forestry equipment. The first one we have is the John Deere 1270G series. This is from Woodcraft Modding. Uh, let's see, 268 horsepower variable CVT, 390 liters of fuel, 14 miles an hour, 23 tons, $437,000. You know what? This will actually go good on elk. But anyways, wheel brand, we got Nokian tires. We got the fours, Trailborg. And then back to Nokia. Nokia, we have standard, standard two, standard three, standard four, and then back to standard. The fours, you got the Ecotrax, the Baltics, the EX, the Kovax, the Magnum, the Ecotrack two, the Evo Baltic two, the X two, the Kovax two, the Magnum two, and then we got threes, fours, fives. There is plenty of wheel set up on those. Jeez, how many is there? Eight, nine. Okay, there's nine sets. Wow. Trailboard, you got standard, standard two, and then back to there. Design, you got standard, you got rear protection, cab protection, full protection, and then back to standard capacity. You got standard tank, additional tank, which, what does that do? 
Okay, it also brings up the fuel from 390 up to 480 on the additional tank. So there is that one. I'm not going to really show that off. Like I always say, I'm not much into forestry. The next forestry machine for today we have is the John Deere 1110, 1210, 1510G. And this is from the same modder, Woodcraft Modding. It's good to actually get some John Deere on here. Let's see, 197 horsepower, variable CVT, 167 liters of fuel, 14 miles an hour, 20.3 tons, $339,000. And I'm pretty sure the Will Brands is going to be pretty much the same. Let me see. Yep, this, well, this one actually only goes up to eight. But look at that, wow. A lot of options on those. And then you got blade, without blade, with blade, protection, no protection, cab, cabin protection, hood protection, and then full protection. Uh, cover, you got no boogie lift, with boogie lift. Uh, and then there's that. Uh, capacity narrow, load space, uh, wide load space, and then back to narrow. It just up, you got the 1110G, which is 197. The 1210G, which is 212. The 1510G, which is 223, and there we go with that. So there is all the forestry equipment for today. Okay, now let's get to some new tractors for today. The first one we have is the Forshret ZT320-320A from AAA Modi. Uh, two tractors on this one. The first one is the A, which is 100 horsepower. Let's see, manual transmission, 200 liters of fuel, 21 miles an hour, 55,000. And of course, with AAA, you're going to get lots and lots of different options. Configuration, we got standard, the ZT323 brown, the ZT323 green, and then back to standard cover, no or yes. Uh, let's see, beacon light, no or yes. Fender, no, yes. Uh, warning sign, no, yes. Uh, let's see, attachers, standard, automatic towing device. Automatic towing device. Ooh, nice, look at that. Yeah. And then we got back to standard. Front loader attacher, no. Power. Back to no. Wheel setup, you got standard, wheel weights, rear twin wheels. That's kind of weird actually seeing the wheel setup stuff all the way down in the list instead of the very top. Rear twin wheels, rear narrow twin wheels, and then back to standard. Rim color, you either got white, light green, or yellow. And that is it on that one. And then we also got the 320A, which I believe is every single thing that the other one have had. The only difference is that this is the 320. So let's go ahead and get this real quick. Uh, let me make sure the, okay, there we go. Now sound is on. Okay, so there we go. Let's get in it real quick. Let's see, the door does open and you even get the sounds for the doors. Here is the interior right here. Okay, let me bring that up real quick. Okay, lights. You got one set of lights, two set of lights, three set of lights. Let me turn that engine over and require so you can hear it. Ooh, nice. Also watch this. Also watch whenever he turns it on. He actually reaches down to turn it on. Watch. Okay, maybe just that one time. Can you do it again, please. Okay, maybe get out and maybe try it again. Let me see. Now try it now. Okay, I don't know. It looked like just for a minute though, he did actually move down. Okay, anyways, top speed is 21 miles an hour. You can actually see the belts, I mean the fan turning right there. Yep. There we go. Okay, lights. Dashboard all lights up. Now let me see if anything else is, nope. Oh yeah, see there he actually moves down to shift right there. Remember this is a manual transmission. There we go, oh, actually it's top speed, I can get to 22. It lies. Okay, so that right there, guys, is the Forshret ZT320-320A. Next on that list, we have some cat dumper. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Lizard dumpers. These are the dumpers pack from Gen Amisk. I believe that's how you say that. Anyways, the first one we have, this is 511 horsepower, variable CVT, 795 liters, 34 miles an hour, 50,000 liters, 18.4 tons. Uh, total price is $180,000. Will brand, we got Trailborg. Michelin, Continental, Nokian, Midas, Trailboard, you just got standard. Looks like they're all standard on those. So we got the 745C dump, and then we also got the 725A dump, which this one, let's see, this one can only hold up to 25,000 liters. Well, let's go ahead and get one of these real quick. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this thing's pretty big. 
surprising that this thing can only hold 50,000 though. I would think that this thing could hold a lot more, but yeah. All right, let's get in it real quick. Let's see, lights. You got one, two, three, three sets of lights. You got one beacon on the top, which, okay, there it goes. Okay, here is the interior. Really nice interior. Okay, I'm gonna turn that engine over and be quiet. Okay, nice sounds on that. Uh, looks like no options on that. Let's see, 35 miles an hour, and this is, of course, an articulated tractor. Here is the interior. Okay, let me see if I can get this thing to dump so I can show you guys how it dumps. I uh, don't have access to this land, of course. Let me go right over here. I own this land right over here. These things are going to be nice for, you know, like doing silage and stuff. Hey, let's put this thing right over here. Okay, so there is how it dumps. Back door opens, and there we go right there. Diesel exhaust fluid, diesel. Okay, so that right there is the dumpers pack. Next, we have a new tractor pack. This is actually a pretty big tractor pack. This is the Fent Vario package from Baron Agrar. Let's see, this one right here, we have the 200V Vario, which is 79 horsepower, variable CVT. Uh, let's see, $77,000. Will Brain, you got Trailboard, Midas, Ridistine. Trailboard, you got Standard, Wide Tires, Standard. This is more of your Orchard Tractor. Uh, roof Display, no or yes. Okay, what? Oh, it puts... Oh, is that a camera? Oh, yeah, definitely take a look at that. Okay, Power, st power Setting 2, Power Setting 1. Uh, front Fender, yes or no beacon lights no you got rights you got where are the beacon lights going they're going in the back or something right oh, okay yeah they are going in the back okay that's definitely different you got the 207 v vario which is 79 the 8 which is 84 you got the 9 which is 94 the 2 210 which is 104 the 211 which is 114 and there we go you got main color you got fent natural green fence classic green fence what was that one fur green fence petrol fence red fence black fence white and communal orange design colors you got the same thing which changes the roof as you see right there and then we got the license plate and the rim color so that is the first one we also got the 300 vario the 700 vario the 900 vario the 1000 vario and there we go so lots of different options pretty much expands on the base game fence right there uh, let me actually take a look at this one real quick. Trailboard, you got, let's see, twin wheels. Love this tractor right here. Roof display, yes. Power setting, profile setting two. Front fenders, gotta have fenders. Beacons, bolt. Uh, the 1050, my favorite one in the game. Uh, main color, keep it as that. And keep it as that, okay. So let me actually take a look at this in game. Love this tractor. I love John Deere. This is probably my second favorite brand is the Fent. All right, so let's get in it real quick. Let's see, steering wheel does come down. Interior, wow, nice interior. Got that. Okay, I thought I got the roof, unless it's that one right there. It's probably that one right there. Let me uh, let me make sure really quick. Let's go back over to here. Let's go under roof display. Okay, yep, it's that one. Okay, because so I definitely want to see what that actually does. Okay, lights, one set of lights, two set of lights, three set of lights. Beacons, of course you got the beacons back there, which are definitely different. Oh, oh these ones probably fold. Okay, I'll be quiet so you guys can actually hear the engine. Nice engine. Okay, top speed is 39 miles an hour. Here's the interior lighting up. Look at that interior. There we go right there, wow. Okay, unfold tractor. We'll probably unfold those beacons. Yep. Okay, open cover. What does that do? Ooh. Nice animations. Open crane too. This probably does the door, the window right there. We got the door right there. Okay. So, really liking this tractor right here. Let me actually turn on the beacons. Let me turn these on. Look at that. Everything lights up on this thing. 
Okay. So that right there, guys, is the Fent Vario Package. Probably one of my favorite mods for the day now. And a plus on that is another new mod that actually came out that goes good with that, actually by the same creator. This is the Fent Cargo Pack. I believe, actually, if you download this thing right here, it will actually download those tractors. And this is from um, Baron Agar. So we have the Cargo 4X, which is 790 kilograms. Uh, 110 horsepower is required, $11,000. We got the 4X75, the 4X80, 4X85, and then back to there. Main color is going to be probably the same ones as you get on the other one. Yes. We got that one, or we got this one right here, the bigger version of it. And then it comes with the universal shovel, which holds 1,450 liters, and you change those colors too. We got bell spike, and that is it. So really nice pack. Mix this plus the vent vario package, really good. After that, let's go over some trailers for today. The first ones are the Kroger TAW package from the same creator as those other ones. Been really busy. This is from Baron Agrar. Wow. This holds 34,000 liters, $42,000. Let's see. We got Will Brand, Trellborg, Michelin, Vredestein. Trellborg, yes, standards. And Vredestein, you use the wide tires. Uh, design, you got no warning stripes. Warning stripes down, upper warning stripes. Warning stripes up and down. Then back to no cover no ooh, like that cover yes on the cover uh let's see and then we also got the bigger version which is fifty six thousand, holds up to forty five thousand liters and the same options on that definitely going to be using these now another trailer which is this one right here this is the bradner tr 3800 from agra modding let's see this one holds forty three thousand liters 6.9 tons thirty eight thousand five hundred we got configuration extension, which is 43,000. We got standard, which is 33,000. Uh, we got wheel brand, Trellborg, Michelin, BKT, Fridistine. Trellborg, yes, standard, standard two, wide tires, wide tires two. I like the wheel chocks they put underneath that. Uh, I believe it's gonna be the same thing for these, standard or wide, standard or wide on that one. Uh, main color, you got any color you want, and then rim color, the same, any color you want on those. Next, let's go to a very, very small plow. This is Una Gradzis 3. Probably butchered that name. This is from Hashgel Mods. But anyways, this is 288 kilograms. Required horsepower is 45. 1.1 working meter, 7 miles an hour is the operating speed. $900. You got main color, pretty much any grays, reds, greens, or browns, even black. And then design color, any color, two, same with those. Then next on the list, we have something from Dutch Modding Incorporated. This is the Lizard Double Pallet Fork. 250 kilograms, 2.4 working meters, $1,200. You got attacher type telehandler, front loader, three points, and then back to telehandler. Main color, you got any color you want on that. And then next on the list for today is we got some potatoes. This is the Potato Pallet from Happy Mole. Uh, $850, this thing holds up to 2,000 liters. And this, of course, is used to, you know, feed your pigs or do whatever you want with it. Uh, where you can find this one, let's go over to here. Let's go under pallets and be all the way at the very end right there. Okay, now let's get to some all platform placeables. The first one is the Hessian Farm. This includes a lot right here. This includes a farmhouse, includes a cow shed, a fermenter silo, and a farm silo shelter. So right here, we can see the farmhouse. It is pretty big right here. Look at that. Wow, when that thing's opening, it should be playing like the Jurassic Park music right there. Is that one open? Yes. Okay, here is your sleep trigger, and then looks like there is your wardrobe trigger. Does these actually open? Ooh, so with this farmhouse, you actually get some storage area. Got a whole bunch of storage right over here. Got shed lights. Can you actually go up here? Sometimes these the stairs on this game, I don't know. Come on, get up there. So yes, so if you want to, if you could get some bales up there, or if you could just throw them up here from over here, you can go ahead and put some like you know small bales right there. So that is the farmhouse right over here, which I did not flatten the land. We have the cow shed, which is right here. Let's come on. There it is right there. Holds up to 45 cows. So let's just get a few real quick. Let's just get five. So there they are door opens up right there and yes yeah, you see definitely flatten your land out before you place this so here we go those doors all open get your milk from there and you probably feed them right there 
wait, no, actually milk comes right there. Okay, milk and then you feed them right over here. Okay, and then right after here, we have a silo. This thing will open up. Lights, ooh, does, yeah, this thing has lights too. Uh, where's the silo part of it? I actually do not know. Hmm, right over here, there it is. Okay, so there it is right there. Turn on and off the shed lights. So a really nice area right over here. And then we have, of course, the fermenter silo. So where is the production mark? I don't know where the production mark is. Let me go right over here. So there we go. We can make grass, grass silage, hay silage, chaff silage, and straw silage. This does 1,000 liters for 1,000 and 120,000, wait, 120 a month. So that means you get about 120,000 liters a month with $2 as the cost on there. So that is the Hessian farm from Bernie MW. Next, we have another production. This is the TMR mixing station from Happy Mole. Of course, this is to make some TMR right here. Uh, let me actually, where is it at? There it is. All right, so with this one, you do 360 silage, 360 grass, 20 mineral feed, and 180, and it gives you 920 TMR. 120 cycles a month, so you get about, maybe about 110, 120,000 liters. Uh, $24, so really good right there. So you probably get it out right over here. And then of course you dump all your stuff in here. I, ple I believe you put your mineral feed right in there. So your grass, your silage, all that, and your straw goes in there. So that is the TMR mixing station. We do have one more placeable to go over. And that is these right here. This is the fermenting silo pack, which I've been waiting for this. This is from Hungry Cow Design. These are some stave silos right over here. Uh, let's go right over here. We have a small one right here, which let's see, you can make chaff, grass, or hay. Uh, let's see, it uh, doesn't even say how much it needs. It just says it converts it over and 180,000 liters per month. That is really good. And then you got the bigger one right here, which does 480,000 liters. Know what I'm definitely gonna be using from now on. So what you do is of course you put it in right over here and then you get it out right over here. And this is the bigger one. Look how big that thing is. Jeez. Smaller one, bigger one. Where you can you find these? Let's go. It's not under production, actually. You got to go under silos. And then right there, we have three of them. We have small, medium, and large. So that is it of the new mods for today. Let's go over, actually, the new map we got for all platforms. Okay, so for the map for today, we have is... I believe this is called Frawlink? I think so. This is from KA77E. This is a fictional map that is designed for small to medium sized machines. It has beautiful rustic farm, 14 fields, seven meadows, and one forest area. In addition, the map is equipped with numerous sales and production points right from the start. The farm includes cows, chickens, sheep, and the horse Hope. In addition to the farm, has a fermenting silo, a multi-store, and a greenhouse. There are flat fields in front of and behind the farm that are suitable for building. So as you see right here, I'm just going to go quick overview over this. Let's drop down real quick. And here is the main farm right here. Uh, let me bring up the map. I mean the menu, sorry. There you go right there. You can see you start off with fields 12 and 5. And this does use actually the same pack we just were talking about, the Asian farm. So open up those doors and welcome to Jurassic Park. No, I'm just playing. But anyways, the vehicles you start off with on this map are actually a lot. You start off with two tractors, the 8150, the MF 4710M. Harvesters, the top line, top line of 4090, which pretty much every single map starts with that. You got the header, you got three trailers, got a cultivator, got the subsoiler, uh, got a HK25 seeder. You got stuff for animals already, which speaking of animals, if we go over to here you actually already have some animals you got 10 cows 10 sheep uh 10 chickens and a rooster and a horse named hope okay so there's that and let's go back over to the machinery again you got slurry tanks you got mowers which what kind of mower you get the gmd 4411 you got a fertilizer spreader front loaders header trailers and stuff like that so this was just a quick overview of it i love this cow pasture right here Remember, I think this one holds what I think we said, 45? Yeah, 45. Pretty nice that they made this into actually a map too, really nice. So, 
That is all the new mods for today. Let me go over the updates we got for all platforms. Now, the updates for all platforms. The first one is a pretty big one. This is for new Bartle Shagan 2022. What has changed on this one? Cosmetic corrections, fixed light trigger on Garage Big Service Hall when resulted in not being able to pick up the collectible, fixed fences that were on unintentionally at the edge of the field, added more dirt roads with splines for the helper, added pig street environments, objects that may interfere after sale, livestock trade for straw and silage sale, now next to the animal sale, license plates adapted to license plate DE, added farmer's market, added some traffic signs, added bakery, added biomass uh, plants, added a stone sale, added greenhouse, lights attached to the halls from the outside, farmhouse traded, fixed multiplayer search, added another sale point, Production's acceptance limit increased because of large fields. Uh, farmlands better adjusted. Added new water plains. The old ones went under the map and blocked the helper when working in the fields. So that is a big one for the new bottle shaking, which I'm pretty sure you're going to need a new save for that. And then now on to the next one, which is the construction map. Let's see the change along in this one. Added new decoration objects. Added biogas plant. Added sawmill. Added forest. Added pass. Added lamps. Added chicken coop, diesel tank, and greenhouse. Fields can now be painted in the landscape tool and a new save is needed for that. So that is all the updates for today for all platforms. Let's go over the PC only mods. Now, welcome to the PC only mods for today. The first one we have is a new tractor. This is the HTZ 17221 from R. Mahill. Uh, let's see, 180 horsepower, manual transmission, 430 liters of fuel, 27 miles an hour, $45,000. Hitch configuration, we got standard. We got front PTO. Wow, I like this. And then back to standards. Will brand, I cannot even pronounce that, so I'm not even going to try to. We got Michelin, and then back to there. We'll set up, you got standard. You got wheel weights. You got twin wheels, and then back to standard. Mud guards, you got metal. You got plastic, and then back to metal. Engine setup, you got the 236D, which is 180. The 23, 238MK, sorry, 238KM23, which is 240. And then also adds, oh, I like that actually. Okay, so let's actually get this and take a look at this in game. 240 horsepower is not bad. Okay, let me bring up this real quick. There we go. Okay. Let's see anything happen when we get in. Yes, the steering wheel does go down. Lights, one, two, three, three sets of lights. Oh, look at those beacons right there. Nice. Okay, I'm going to start the engine up and quite so you can hear it. Nice engine sounds. Top speed is 26 miles an hour. Let me go ahead and turn this thing over again. Look at that. Look at the speakers right there. Love those speakers. Dashboard all lights up. You know what? I'm going to be using this tractor. This is a really nice tractor. All right. Let me see. Anything else right here? Let's see. Right stick. What does this do? I actually do not know. Let me see. Um, okay. So I don't know what it does. Does it higher or lower something? Let's see. Oh, it does. Okay. So that actually raises up and down. That's with LB and the right stick. Okay, and of course, this is our articulated tractor. 26 miles an hour, and it probably will take a minute to get up there, as you see. Yeah, there we go. And the brakes take a minute. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, so that right there is the HTZ 17221. Next on the list, we have a new trailer. This is the Marston Ace 10 1993 from Matt XJS. 14,500, 3.2 tons, $12,500. We got configuration grain. You got the silage sides, which brings up to 27,000. Uh, silage sides plus left board, which brings up to 28,000. Then you got the right board, and then both boards, which brings up to 29,000. And then back to grain. Wilburn, you got BKT, Trailborg. BKT, you just got standard. Same thing with Trailborg. Chassis color, default, gray. Uh, ladder configuration, no ladders. Left ladder. Right ladder. Both ladders. And then no ladders. Beacon configuration, no. Beacon left, left, which puts in the back. Beacon bottom, then back to no beacon. Brandy, you got Marston. Mossy Ferguson. Salop. Griffiths. Wharton. And then no branding. Cover, no or yes. Uh, main color, you got pretty much any color you really want. 
Uh, design color, same thing, which probably changes the cover. Yes, it does change the cover. Rim color, you either got gray, metallic, rim slollop, or Wooten. And then that is it on that one. Really nice trailer. Then now the last new mod for today we got is this one right here. This is a disc arrow. This is the LDG-10 from Damas 1523. 2.5 tons, 150 horsepower is required. 10 working meters, 9 miles an hour is the operating speed. 21,530. Design, you got option 1, option 2. Uh, selection of supporting wheels, option 1, option 2, and that is it. So let's see. Main color, you got either light green, red, green, blue, or dull red. So, there is all the new mods for PC today. Well, all the PC only mods. Let's go over the PC only updates for today. Now, PC only updates for today. The first one we have is field lease. What changed on this one? Fixed bug with wide aspect ratio screens. So that was the only update for that one. We have one more update to go over. And that is for one of my favorite script mods and that is the real dirt color. What changed on this one? Fixed readme text files preventing mod use in dedicated servers. So now you can actually use this in dedicated servers. So that is all the new mods for all platforms. New, mo new mods for PC only. That is all the updates for both of them. What's left to go over? It is that testing list. So let's go over the testing list real quick. Well, that was the news, new mods, and testing list for today. Today's schedule after this video is a live stream tonight at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. What should we stream tonight? We have the 80 series, we have Elk Mountain, or the new Compton update. Choices, choices, choices. Let me know your answer in the comments below. Well, anyways, remember, if you guys did like the video, make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new, make sure to hit that sub button and ring that bell. And from me to you, welcome to the club. See you guys tonight. Peace.